All right, health heroes. I hope you all are ready for a good day today where we're going to be cooking super spaghetti. You're going to be a health hero for your family. It's not really super spaghetti. It's a super pasta. However, you're going to be able to eat more and weigh less. That's the whole point of today's show. Portion control. Do you need it? Nope. Not when you're eating like this. So we're going to get started cooking. I do have a new health chronicle for you today. So in this 30 minutes, we are going to definitely name a superhero, a phase 100 superhero. So as you come in, put in hashtag health heroes. And if you're watching on the replay, do the same thing. So that way we know that you are interested in being a health hero for your loved ones. How do you do that? Fruits and vegetables, every spread, no matter what you're eating, make sure you get in fruits and vegetables. Y'all, I have here today some simple ingredients garlic, onions, and one of my favorites, red cabbage or purple cabbage. What do y'all call this? I don't know. Some people call it red cabbage. Some people call it purple cabbage. It's purple. I think it used to be called red cabbage. Maybe it was red. Maybe they modified it. I don't know. I do know a lot about food, but that's one thing that stumps me. Another thing I'm cooking with today, y'all, as I make the spaghetti, you know, what we're doing today is naming a superhero, a food hero, superhero. You enter the contest by just putting in hashtag health heroes. We're cooking our pasta. We're also, we also have a new video for you, a new Nutraville health chronicle or a Nutraville chronicle, I should say. And these right here, soy curls. This is our meat substitute today because I don't personally eat meat. However, if you eat chicken, pork, beef, whatever, add a bunch of vegetables, fruits, vegetables. Y'all know peppers are fruit. So today when I add my salsa, that's like my fruit that I'm adding. So I do have a big jar of salsa here. As you see, great value. I also have my favorite 99 cents jar of salsa. Use what you have. The whole point is that when you are including things like fruits and vegetables, whether they're semi-processed or what have you, the whole point is that those things count, right? They add up. They really make a difference in your health. So thank you, Ananya, for that suggestion. She's saying hello. And she's also saying, maybe we can call this cabbage. Lord, that was an onion. She says, maybe we can call that magenta cabbage, right? Instead of purple cabbage or red cabbage. I think traditionally, Tati, it was called red for us. But you're in Romania, Tati, so you let us know. What do you all call this particular cabbage? Is it red cabbage? Do you call it purple cabbage? What do you call it? Because we're cooking it today. I've already cooked my pasta, so I had some shells. I did have some spaghetti noodles, but I didn't have a whole bunch. So in this container right here, I've got some pasta shells. They're just tiny shells, and I'll kind of show them to you there. And this is about eight ounces. It's just shy of eight ounces because I had a 32 ounce. No, I had a 16 ounce box and I cooked half of it. And I was just shaking it up just to loosen them because they were kind of sticking together. Oh, well, these are cooked. So all we're going to be doing today is making the sauce. So please make sure as you come in, you let us know. What do you call this cabbage? Tati is saying purple. So Tati Sifatita is in Romania like, yeah, it looks purple. It's purple cabbage. And y'all see the way I do this. I just chop bits and pieces because this way, Bravo with Sheila, ladies, Bravo with Sheila Network, when you're using parts and pieces, you always have some for later and you don't have to feel compelled. Now, Bravo with Sheila, I don't know if you used to do this. Back in the day, growing up, cabbage was a main dish where, a main side dish, where they would just cook the whole cabbage, chop the whole thing up, and it was like a big production. Then they would have that thing cooking all day long. Cabbage doesn't even take very long to cook. Lord knows, I just wasted some cabbage on the floor. If I were in my own kitchen, right now in my studio kitchen, I would rinse that off, but we're not gonna worry about that piece today. And I'm only putting in about a cup and a half of chopped cabbage, okay? So I'm just going to slice about a cup and a half of cabbage into small bite-sized pieces. This way, as you all come in and chit chat with each other, this is something that you can do. Remember, put in your hashtag health heroes so that way we can name a faves 100 hero for today. So thank you all for doing that as you're coming in. Uh, let's get back to what we're doing right now because with this eat more, weigh less, y'all let me know, are you concerned about portion control? Um, I'm not. So Felicia, 
Uh, Fr Humphrey, you tell me. Number one, what do you call this cabbage? Is it purple cabbage? Is it red cabbage? Also, are you concerned about portion control? Because when I've switched over to eating so many more fruits and vegetables and adding them to my meals, one thing I noticed is that it just increased the volume of the food. So I was like, wow, I have a whole lot of food. I used to use a lot of frozen bags of vegetables. Like, you know how you can go to, okay, back in the day, before 2020 and inflation came through, you could get a lot of 99 cent bags of fruits and vegetables from the Dollar Tree. You still can go to the Dollar Tree. They just went up to $1.25. You could go to Walmart. They used to always have a 99 cent bag of broccoli or um, corn or the mixed vegetables, you know, like cauliflower, carrots and whatnot. So thank you so much, Ania for putting in hashtag health heroes. Y'all follow her because that's what we're doing today. And so I used to always just like use half a bag of those frozen vegetables. Then I was like, why am I using half the bag? This creates so much more food. It would pump up the dish when I would add the whole bag. So I was like, yeah, and I'm cooking for a family. So why not get in more? It, it wasn't hurting anything. And I actually have had people say, oh, why'd you put so many vegetables in? Now this is when I would put in multiple meats as well. So thank you. You call it purple cabbage too, FR Humphrey. All right, Felicia, put in hashtag health heroes too. That way you can get your, I see you did put it in. You can get your honorary health hero status in just a few minutes because we're about to do the phase 100 giveaway after we finish up this cabbage, uh, after we finish chopping this cabbage. And I think I'll chop, chop the garlic too because I'm just putting in garlic, onions, cabbage, salsa, spaghetti sauce. And I do have my secret soy curls because a lot of people, they like a meat substitute. So uh, Rambo Green Hands, if you have not put in hashtag health heroes, follow Felicia and do so. Because I know you're having a good time over there in the UK with your garden, growing everything that you would in Jamaica, fighting the foxes. We're praying for you. But yeah, also let us know, you know, Rambo, I know you want to be a health hero for your loved ones. So let us know. Do you call this purple cabbage? Do you call it red cabbage? I just used about a cup and a half. That way I can put this in. Um, I'm just going to saute it down a little bit along with the garlic. That's going to start our spaghetti. I noticed that when I was buying the frozen vegetables, it was easy. I didn't have to do all the chopping. For things were pretty much chopped. And I would actually add um, frozen vegetables like broccoli and whatnot to spaghetti. So I realized that the kids would see it and they would be like, oh, we can, you know, why do we have so many vegetables? So let me grab a trash bag for my scraps here. So that's where I started adding spinach. Spinach is another popular food that you can add to your spaghetti that people don't seem to notice. They just think it's an herb or something. And if you have frozen spinach, you know, then that's, that's where you have something really easy to process. Wally verse by now I thought everybody knew that Corey is no longer here this is just food is no longer blonde guy his wife we threw the husband in the trash we threw his wife in the trash it's now superfood parents so everybody here is a health hero for their loved one so again the the pandemic is over people had to go back into the office and yeah Corey's at work somewhere so let's see what we're doing here put in health heroes though Carrots. You know what? I've added carrots to my spaghetti before, Felicia. And because they could see those carrots, I would have to chop them up really fine to make them feel like they didn't see the vegetables. I don't know what it is because the vegetables don't give the food a different flavor. Like this was when I was adding multiple meats. You know, I would add different sausage. Uh, I would also add ground beef, um, sometimes chicken. All three of those, ground beef, chicken, and sausage to a spaghetti. But because they could see multiple vegetables, then yeah. Why is Wally Bird talking about what? Man, you need to go back and watch a few episodes. I have a couple of short videos that explains the rebranding and everything. Because, you know, we do have some interviews lined up. So don't worry, we still have, we're still broadcasting in other places and we do have interviews lined up. That aspect has not changed, but all of our business coaches, Wally, uh, were telling us. And so this is good for people watching on LinkedIn and everything as well. They know this as well. When you are working a business, your coaches, your uh, people for HR and PR and all your social folks are going to say, 
have one specific thing that you do well, one main thing that you do well and focus on that. And so even though we were doing health, business and wealth, we realized that health was just prominent. We have a lot of ties to health. A lot of people can resonate with that. And there were always questions. I've gotten so many phone calls from people that have my phone number. I've got so many emails and inquiries about, hey, what can I do for this? What can I eat for that? People know that, okay, <clears throat> excuse me, you're here for health. I'm here for it too. So that's what they came for. And so I said, okay, let's niche down just on the health. We can revolutionize. And so we got health heroes here. Uh-oh, Wally's, Wally's threatening me. <laughs> he says, Laquita, let me find out you did something to Corey. I'll hunt you down. Don't nobody give him, uh, please, if you know my address, don't give it to Wally, okay? Because he'll come find me. But luckily, Wally's in Florida. I'm in Virginia, so it might take him a while to figure out where. Don't tell him where I am, y'all. You know what? I never use the food chopper, hardly ever, because I really enjoy chopping vegetables. So that's just something that I like. And of course, I do love my Cutco knife. Y'all know this is in my Amazon store. I just have this one knife. I've been using this knife for years, the same one knife, like not this type of knife, this knife for years. And my children can use it safely. It doesn't cut me or anything like that. So this knife is just great. I know Rambo is laughing at Wally. So y'all, let's get into our Faves 100 giveaway. If you have not put in hashtag health heroes, put it in. I'm going to switch over to the pot so you all can see these things going in and I'm just going to add water. Okay. So this is about a cup and a half of red cabbage, uh, three cloves of garlic. I'm going to add some water and let these cook a little bit so that the cabbage can get soft. Remember my pasta is already, um, the pasta is already cooked. And so once these get a little soft, I'm going to show you all how I add the soy curls because that's our meat substitute. So I'm going to show you the splash of water. I'll get it right here off my cart. And that's about mm, half a cup of water. And this is a stainless steel or a scratch proof pot. So I can use metal spoons on it. I can use wooden spoons on it. All of those good things. Um, and often I'll use my plastic spoon or my wooden spoon just so that it's more quiet on camera for you all because you know this is not necessarily an asmr situation <laughs> but remember this is starting off our super pasta i'm using shells instead of spaghetti you can use whatever pasta that you like and this is actually super wonderful with ravioli so let's do our giveaway if you have put in hashtag health heroes then you just might win right now, okay? So everybody's in there chilling. Uh, Felicia is giving a thumbs up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate that. And let's do it. Let's see who's going to win today's Faves 100 giveaway. And then right after that, I have my new Health Chronicles, um, not Health Chronicles, Neutraville Chronicles video to show you. Because y'all know I love tech and I've got my uh, tech videos helping me out. Hey, we even got David Hunt in the mix. Y'all know he was live this morning with his music. Wally and I were over there talking trash. It was mainly me, you know, because David doesn't like okra. Oh, I could add okra to the spaghetti. I have done it before. So if David wins, because he says he's going to win, I'm going to add okra to the spaghetti. I have frozen okra. Remember, I was talking about the frozen vegetables. I don't usually put a whole bag of frozen okra in there, but hey, let's go for it. David Hunt is in there. I know. You know what? Did you notice this multi-size lid? Okay. Since you mentioned this, Fr Humphrey, I'm just going to show it really quickly because this multi-size lid is something. I broke my last lid that came with this pot. This lid right here, it has these silicone edges. So this way, with these edges right here, they're flexible and you can put it on several different size pots. You see those different red ridges and it will kind of seal down onto the pots. And y'all see that it's already kind of bubbling and steaming there. So let's get into the giveaway. And this was affordable on Amazon as well. So I really like that part. All right, here we go. 
Anania is in the race. She was the first one to put it in, so she might win, David Hunt. Let's see who is today's health hero. David Hunt, Wally Burst, FR Humphrey, Anania, David Hunt, Wally Burst, Rainbow Green Hands, David Hunt, Wally Burst, FR Humphrey, Rainbow Green Hands, Anania, FR Humphrey, Wally Burst Media, Anania, David Hunt, he called it and he won it. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Congratulations to you, David Hunt. You are the winner. You can now eat as much as you want because you are a plant power titan. What does that mean? You are today's health hero, which means you automatically have eaten either 80 points or more of fruits and vegetables. Remember, you get five points for every fruits, fruit and vegetable that you eat. And if you aren't as wonderful as David Hunt, maybe you're a superfood Avenger. You've only gained 65 points, but it's still early in the day for us here. So maybe you're just a faves crusader, 50 plus points or more. But David Hunt, he is in there. He's got um, 80 points. He's a plant power titan. So congratulations to David Hunt. Everybody's congratulating him. And of course, he was saying, no okra. Don't spoil the food. But I told you, if you won, you would add okra. Y'all let me know. Should I add okra to the spaghetti or not? And it's not spaghetti. It's just the pasta. So we really could add, spaghetti, add the okra to this pasta dish with the red pasta. Now, Fr Humphrey, she picked up one at Aldi. It was reasonable. Huh. I didn't know they had these multi-size lids at Aldi because they always have such good things there. I've gotten quite a few gems from Aldi. Well, Tati is congratulating David Hunt right along with Rambo Green Hands. Now, y'all know Rambo Green Hands is Jamaican and right along with the, the amazing MNG. So happy to have you here from Jamaica, the amazing MNG. And Anania is congratulating David right along with FR Humphrey. And thank you for the thumbs up, amazing MNG. We are going to get back to our portion control meal where you don't have to worry about portions. Almoners, uh, and I understand the medical jargon when I'm reading all the white papers and whatnot. Oh. F.R. Humphrey, thank you. No okra today, just for David. Okay, because you know the white papers, all the studies say so many health benefits are in okra, but uh, Felicia has spoken. Uh, David Hunt, he actually has had pineapple and honeydew already this morning, so that's 10 points for him, right? 10 phase points, so that's wonderful. Um, I think my phone is getting hot here because it just cut off, so I'm gonna move that back for just a minute, and we'll see if we can get it to cut back on and then we'll adjust it a bit so that maybe it's not directly for the heat. Something's happening here with the camera. I don't know what. Let me make sure that, okay, the heat is fine. All right. Oh, thank you, the amazing MNG. So let's get into today's Health Heroes Chronicle because I do have a video just for you all. And that means that, you know, I created this. Oh, the amazing MNG has had melon so far today. So everybody's trying to catch up to be in a plant powered Titan. Uh, Y'all are trying to figure out which phase hero you are. Remember, you get five points for every fruit or vegetable that you have, regardless of whatever else you're eating. So keep up the good work, everybody. Yes, keep it up. I'm going to go ahead and show you all the... Okay, good. This is sauteing down. It's getting soft. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all this video. Enjoy the video. And uh, hopefully you'll learn something is pretty short. And this is a fun one about portion control and about this super spaghetti or super pasta that I'm making right now. So here we go. Enjoy. Eat more, weigh less. Nutriville Chronicles. Once upon a time in Nutriville, a city brimming with healthy delights, a superhero named Veggie Dynamo emerged. With a cape made of fresh lettuce leaves and a beaming smile, Veggie Dynamo had a mission to enlighten the citizens about the magic of faves, fruits and veggies every spread. One day, Chef Lakita Marie introduced her super spaghetti dish to the residents. Instead of just plain pasta, she added a rainbow of faves. Vibrant red cabbage, onions, and garlic, along with a flavorful salsa and traditional pasta sauce. The aroma filled the air, and the residents' taste buds danced with delight. As Veggie Dynamo arrived at Chef Lakita's kitchen, he knew this was his moment to inspire change. He encouraged the residents to try super spaghetti, explaining how the abundance of faves in the dish provided essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. And the best part? They could enjoy a generous portion without worrying about weight gain. One by one, the citizens of Nutriville embraced the Faves 100 lifestyle. They added colorful veggies to their pasta rice, and potato dishes, feeling healthier and lighter with every bite. Veggie Dynamo's message of more faves, 
less weight spread like wildfire, and soon, Nutraville became a beacon of health and vitality. So, next time you visit Nutraville, don't forget to savor the super spaghetti and join Veggie Dynamo's quest to eat more and weigh less dash! All by adding an abundance of faves to your favorite dishes, corn, tomato, broccoli, spaghetti. All right, y'all, that's what we're doing. We are eating more and weighing less today. So if you're wondering what's happening with this dish, I'll show you how things are coming along. It looks like I need to add a little bit more water because the water is kind of cooking out of there. So I did add to the chat David Hunt's uh, channel link. Ooh, let's make sure that is visible. Yep, and as you see, the cabbage is really softening up. So I'll put it a little closer to the screen so that you can see how the cabbage has started to wilt. And again, y'all can let me know if y'all call it purple cabbage or red cabbage because it looks purple, but I remember they used to call it red. I don't know if it was modified in some way at some point, but hey, this is what we have today. So let's get back into, I hope y'all enjoyed that uh, Nutriville Chronicle episode. Thank you, Tati says, nice animation. And the amazing MNG, of course, is sending love. But y'all know what to do if you have not subscribed to David Hunt. And, in, and you're looking for an amazing okra experience, head on over there. David Hunt is a vocalist. He will create a song for you. He has okra songs that he sings. I'm not going to tell you if they're good, bad, or what. But <laughs> DJ Is is here. <laughs> so if you're interested in music, head over there to David Hunt. Speaking of music, right now we are listening uh, to Von Eric's uh, music. But we always sign off with DJ is super clap track is I call it the it's called clap clap I call it the super clap sign off because we always finish up with that. Fr Humphrey is saying purple veggies are the rage right now. Ah, well you know dark colored veggies are definitely the way to go because they have like the more color you have the more phytonutrients that are in them. So that's where I was saying like as a nurse I understand a lot of the jargon and the the information that they have in all the white papers, but I try to put it into everyday language because if you hear the word phytonutrient, I'm gonna add this onion, y'all. If you hear the word phytonutrient, that is just not a word that you're going to gravitate to, you know? You're like, well, what is that for? Well, the phytonutrients are the things that give you um, your vitamins, your minerals. That's what phytonutrients are. They're beneficial for you. They're the things that help you ward off different illnesses and sicknesses and all of that. So yes, if purple veggies are the rate, it's because as they say, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. And you might be wondering, why are we adding all these things? Well, remember when you're feeding your loved ones, when you're cooking food for people that you know you care about, you really want to give them the best. And I did have a poll in the chat. You know, y'all let me know if you prefer quality, you know, if the quality of your food is more important, or if you're just like, look, I'm just eating a bunch of food because I can. I, I just need as much food as I can get. I just eat until I'm full. I didn't even realize that those colors meant something. If that's you, let us know in the poll. If you're on YouTube, that's where the poll is. If you're on LinkedIn, the poll is not there. And the amazing MNG is saying, yep, purple cabbage looks so delicious cooking, doesn't it? So I'm gonna add my soy curls now. So that way you all can see how these work as a meat substitute because in this 30 minute show, we get a lot done. If we're gonna eat more and weigh less, that means we wanna eat sooner than later. We don't like to wait to eat because I know a lot of people, as soon as they get hungry, they are ready to eat. But remember, the nice thing is that when you're eating mainly fruits, vegetables, um, of course I'm adding pasta, you can add rice, you can add potatoes. I don't know what your preference is. But make sure whatever you're eating, instead of eating a baked potato with butter, sour cream, and bacon, eat a potato with butter, sour cream, bacon, and broccoli, or add salsa, or you can also add what else? Chives. Uh, you can add purple cabbage, onions, and garlic. There are so many things you can add. So let's get into what exactly uh, we're doing right now with this particular creation. This is our spaghetti, and I do have a recipe video to show you how this works. I'm going to show you all under the other camera what these look like because if you've ever eaten bacos, then you have eaten this product. It's all the same thing, okay? So when you're eating bacos, 
and you look on the back, they say texturized vegetable protein, TVP. So I'm going to show you under this other camera so you can kind of see what these look like. Just dried, crunchy things, right? So the way I like to do it, especially in spaghetti, you can use, some people use these like chicken strips. If you leave them like this, as soon as they hit the water, they start to expand. So I'll toss one in so that you can kind of see what that one will look like without being crumbled. So I'll remove the lid and I'm gonna turn this down a little bit so it doesn't create so much steam. Let's see here. Let's go down a couple of notches and I'm gonna throw this one in and I'll make sure that it gets in the water. Get in the water. Mm. Mm. I feel it. Y'all remember that song? I love it. All right, so this one is in the water, right? And then what I do with the other ones is I just sort of crush them. So some people, they do this weird thing where they rinse them and all that stuff. I don't do that. I just crunch it up, put it in here and season it because I don't understand why you have to, like these are basically, getting rehydrated. So once you add in the soy curls, you can just crumble them in or you can chop them, but why when you can just crumble them in? I don't know if you all can hear that crunch, but they're kind of dry and I just break them up. So this is going to give us a meaty texture. And you know what, I heard that Taco Bell used to use this and actually but McDonald's used to use this as for their burgers too. So if you are like, oh my goodness, no, I don't want that. You probably already had it. So I'm just putting this in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my seasoning. So whatever you want this to taste like, that is what you put in there. So I'll show you the way I do it. I'm going to put all of these over to one side, just like that. I'm going to scoop the cabbage over here for the most part. So that way I have my meat substitute on one side. And remember, all of this is going to get mixed up anyways. Thank you, the amazing G, G. She says, absolutely great cooking, my dear friend. I told you I learned from the best. I saw you cooking on your channel and I said, wait, I think I can do that too. All right, so let me grab here off the cart. I like a little bit of a kick, a little bit of a spice. If you like this particular product, go to Chong. I, I always say it wrong, but you see, it's a Korean chili paste. I sometimes add the smallest dollop of this. Okay, that's what it looks like. It's just the paste. Kind of reminds you of tomato paste. And when I say the smallest dollop, like literally a fourth of a teaspoon, I'll put it in. And as you see, the water is drying up because as soon as the TVP gets in there, it starts to rehydrate. It starts to soak up that water. So I just added a little bit of water in there. And remember, this is just a red sauce, a red pasta sauce. A lot of people will put a little bit of sugar into their pasta sauce. So Coach Mary Ma, I don't know in Cameroon, if you all add a little sugar to cut the acid of the tomatoes, but I sprinkle like a fourth of a teaspoon to a half a teaspoon of sugar and I toss it in there with the goju, goju chong, the red sauce, and I just mix them up a little bit. And then I throw in a few of my savory seasonings as well. So what will happen is the TVP or the soy curls, they have zero flavor. So whatever you add to the dish is what gives them the flavor. And I'll put in, oh, thank you, Coach Mary Ma says the food's looking yum already. These are just the soy curls. And like I said, if you've ever eaten Bacos, if you've ever eaten Taco Bell or McDonald's, you probably have eaten this product. <laughs> so it's just a soy product that we, that we have here. And the nice thing about soy is that even though 80% is grown for animals and that is the GMO soy, uh, most of the soy for people is uh, non-GMO. It doesn't have the glyphosates and the atrazine and all of those things that are messing us up and taking us out. So that is the nice part about that. So now let's add some flavor here. I almost always add turmeric because it doesn't taste like much. And so, oh, FR Humphrey, you don't add sugar to yours. Okay. 
I think I usually add some to my spaghetti sauces or red pasta sauces and stuff. I'm gonna add a little bit of sweet basil. Now you all, I don't know if you realize that herbs like basil, oregano and whatnot, they have so many antioxidants. They have a lot more antioxidants than a lot of just the vegetables. So oregano, I was just watching a, a doctor recently talk about the amount of antioxidants in oregano. It's like maybe 600% more than some of the other vegetables. Okay, Coach Mary Ma is saying, nope, some people uh, boil the tomato on low heat until all the water dries off, then they add the oil. And you know what? I am not adding oil to this today. That would give you a nice rounded out mouthfeel for this. I did add a little bit of oil to the pasta so it wouldn't stick. And so, yes, that, that would be a great addition. Or they fry it, fry it on low heat until the water dries. Ah, okay, thank you. Well, keep in mind that with all of these vegetables in here, you will not have to worry about portion control. When you add a lot of vegetables to your food, you can eat a lot. We're gonna add a pinch of thyme as well. Because like I said, this is another reason why you're eating these foods. It's for the nutritive values. So this way you're healing yourself, fixing yourself, because we can't say heal. Remember, this is not medical advice. Yes, I'm a nurse. No, I can't. Even the doctors and the nurses can't say they're fixing and healing people. That was a pinch of chili powder. And y'all know I try to go organic where I can. I don't always go organic. And this is one of my favorites, the smoked paprika. And I still have not added any salt. So that's about a fourth, a half a teaspoon of the smoked paprika. So I do have my Himalayan salt here. It's actually in a bay leaf container because I just recycled this container. But this is actually a Himalayan pink salt. And I do use black salt. I use Celtic salt. And this is about a teaspoon of salt. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> now we're pretty much done with this dish. All we have to do is add the noodles. I'm gonna taste this because as you see, we've got all our vegetables. When we add our salsa, that's gonna give us some peppers, some onions, all of those good things. And look at how lovely this looks all together. I'll put it a little bit closer to the uh, camera because if you're just getting here, Mary Amade Poju, you are just in time to eat, okay? You are never late, always on time. And I know there's steam popping up, so it's hard to see this, but we've got vegetables in here. We've got our meat substitute in here, and we're going to have a person come taste in a bit. I'm trying to find that big one that I left in here that I didn't break up, that meat substitute. I think this might be it right here, just to give you all an idea of the texture. You know, it gets really meaty really quick. Like I said, it's just rehydrated. Mm. Flavor is nice. Oh, that's good. All right, let's put in our sauce. I do have the rest of a jar of some just tomato basil, marinara sauce, avocado oil. I try to remind you all to look at your ingredients mainly for Parmesan or whey, because a lot of people, they will sneak in different milk products, cheeses and stuff. I know this is not focusing. Good grief. I thought it would focus. Oh, this has a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of good things in it. So I'll just tell you what's in it. Thank you so much. Coach Mary Ma is saying that looks so delicious, healthy and finger looking good. You know what? This is my cell phone. I like that, you, that you're liking these camera angles, Mar uh, Miriam. Y'all know Miriam is Nigerian. Oh, so I'm, I'm Nigerian today. I'm sorry, Coach Mary Ma. I know you're Cameroonian, but FR Humphrey, be Nigerian with us. Oh, you know what? Thank you for saying that. Check for sugar too, because this has organic diced tomatoes, organic puree, uh, tomato puree, which is tomato paste, avocado oil, organic basil, sea salt, organic onions, organic garlic powder, organic oregano, citric acid, or an organic garlic. So I don't have to worry about that. Nice. There is no added sugar. Now I'm just going to open this jar 
of salsa and add that in as well. Just a little, not a lot. And you know, some people, they just literally boil the pasta and throw in the sauce. But why not add more veggies where you can get them? This way, you can be a uh, health hero for your loved one. Uh, this is a good question. Hey, Nikki, everyday life of an OCD is chick. You're just in time for dinner or lunch or whatever. But the point is, you can eat as much of this as you like. And you don't have to worry about portion control. So this is onions, garlic, and purple cabbage. I added some soy curls. And those are just, you know, some dry, a dried product. Uh, it's TVP. It's what they put as a meat substitute. Y'all, I'm hitting the side of the jar. This is how you get a jar open. You just tap it, put a few, a, a few marks on the side of the jar, and then it'll open right up. It pops right open. And right now I'm adding a little bit of this great value salsa because, and this might have some sugar in it. Let me see what the ingredients are here. This one has crushed tomatoes, um, jalapeno peppers, diced tomatoes, vinegar, onions, oh, dehydrated garlic and natural flavoring. There's no sugar in this salsa either. Then we finish it up with our pasta. Yes. So remember, you can make this like a spaghetti or I'm using small shells and we are done y'all. This 30 minute show has happened. So you know what, Coach Mary Ma, and I do have to answer your question, the merit, the amazing MNG about muscle cramps. I did see your question, I'll get to it. Oh, no worries dear, Cameroon is closest neighbors with Nigeria. People even travel all oh, to and from both countries on foot. That's what, I, that's what I'm talking about. The love is there, right? We are all the same people. You know, the earth is so small and I watch so many conspiracies, conspiracy things. They even say that the airplanes, when they fly around, it's a trick. We don't have to fly around that much. It doesn't take that long to get from one place to the other. And the airlines are a hoax. I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I, I'm not a pilot. I don't have my own situation. So I'm just like, I got to go with whatever is popping, right? Man. Cocoa fed cakes, I need a taster, please. All right, y'all. If this is delicious, we're going to get some feedback from the people in our home studio, okay? So let's get back to the amazing MNG because she's asking, is there any food that can prevent muscle cramps, please? You're in Jamaica with some of the best foods to prevent muscle cramps. Coconut water, fresh coconut water from the coconuts. There are so many electrolytes in there. It will bless your soul. I'm gonna turn this pasta off because it's done. I'll just let it simmer here until we get a taster coming through. Um, also, water in general. The other thing that you can do is, now this is like a quick fix. With those muscle cramps, Corey used to do this in sports. He They, they would have them uh, lick mustard. There was salt content in mustard, um, but you know, I've tried it and it actually worked. When I say lick mustard, Mike, um, not a teaspoon, just like a fourth of a teaspoon, put a dollop on a spoon or just squeeze it into your mouth and then water. Water, water, water helps with uh, muscle contractions like those, those muscle uh, cramps. So I know what you mean. And again, I'm a nurse, but um, anybody else, look, ask the people, FR Humphrey, if, if anybody has any muscle cramp solutions, please help us out. Coach Mary Ma says, I wonder why they keep adding sugar to these ingredients. Well, y'all know I have a show coming up called The Crack Era. Coco Fetty Cakes, come here, I need you to taste this. Um, The Crack Era, right? They were supposed to be like the 90s and the 2000s. Y'all, we are still in it. Sugar is crack. Well, let me not say that online. Sugar is not crack. Sugar is just a drug. <laughs> That's a crack-like drug. <laughs> same thing. Same thing. Thank you all. Uh, join the mailing list, y'all. Head on over to superfoodparents.com. It is scrolling at the bottom of the screen right along with our sponsors. You can head over there and get nutritional education, food games, and all of that stuff. The only thing that we're waiting for now is for some people to come and taste this food. I'm going to get a little cup. I'm going to put some food in this cup. Go, go. Hold on, let me mute so I can really, really holler. All right, but thank you so much, David Hunt, for putting in that. Y'all don't be laughing at me about this uh, sugar and crack. Pickle juice for leg cramps. Yeah, because of that sodium, right? So thank you so much, uh, FR Humphrey, for saying pickle juice. She also said mustard. And then, of course, 
We also have Fr Humphrey is saying, look, sugar is cheap. It's a filler, and yes, it is addictive. That's why I'm saying, y'all, we're still in the crack era. Ain't nothing happened. Ain't nothing happened yet. Yeah, Coach Mary Mom, mustard for, for uh, muscles. Yep. So it's that's like the quick fix. The long fix is definitely increase your fruits and vegetables because they have a lot of water content in them. They also have those nutrients that you need. So a lot of your root vegetables are going to have what you need, like magnesium and copper and iron and things like that. And then the things that grow up on trees and vines, they're going to have those antioxidants like vitamin C, those strong vitamins like A, K, vitamin A and vitamin K, vitamin E. So either way, you're always getting what you need to repair and heal when you eat food that's been grown from the ground. And of course, rice and potatoes, they grow from the ground too, right? So definitely eat those as well. You're absolutely welcome, the amazing m and I'm gonna put some of this into my dish here. You all have seen how quick this pasta came together. I'm gonna mute just for a moment. Oh, Fr Humphrey says, the athletes use mustard on, on the field for cramps, yep. Uh, works instantly. No one knows exactly why. Yeah, that's why I said that's the quick fix. So thank you. Thank you for adding that. I'm going to show you all the video. So this way you can actually see how this would come together if you need measurements and all of that stuff. So once we check this out, I'll get a taster. And of course, we'll see you know, if we can do our super clap sign off. Is this food really this delicious? We'll see what happens with this dish in just a moment when we get a taster in here. So enjoy, We're, we want everybody to check it out, try it. Maybe plant-based spaghetti. This is about um, a half a rutabaga that I chopped up for the spaghetti. I usually cook this a little bit, maybe about seven minutes before I add the other vegetables. Rutabagas help to prevent the onset of type two diabetes. They promote strong bones and help regulate blood pressure. Two carrots, two stalks of celery, two onions, and two cups of red cabbage. Red cabbage has lots of antioxidants that's good for eyes, teeth, and bones. And based sausage that I actually made. Check out our other videos to see how to make our plant-based sausage. Here's some air fried tofu that I froze. Health reports show that tofu helps to put the brakes on cancer. There is some water down there at the bottom of the pan. Add half a cup of water to soften the vegetables. Mommy added more plant-based sausage and tofu. It's optional. I'm just going to show you what this looks like before we add the spaghetti noodles. Nothing special, no pasta sauce. This is the pasta sauce. Just the vegetables and everything before I add the sauce. You like it? Mm hmm. Hmm? That's good. It's good. It's good. It tastes good with the noodles too, but it's good. Okay, so I just added like a half cup of water to get all the residual out of there. Mmm. Yep. It's better than the last one. Mm -hmm. The last one was very good. It's good. Like. As a former meat eater a few months ago, I really enjoyed the spaghetti. I love the plant-based sausage. It tastes just like sausage. And the tofu tastes just like chicken. It has a bite just like chicken. A lot of people say that. All right, y'all. We have a taster. Thank you, Nikki. The everyday, you're on camera. The everyday life of an OCD is <laughs> chicken saying yum yum. Because she was like, do I have to come on camera? Absolutely delicious meal, the amazing MNG is saying. And you all know we are powered by rolljava.com. So if you're ready for some great coffee, definitely yes. All right, what's the verdict on the food? Tati is saying yummy. Yes, I'm wow. talking to you. It's really good. I like the pasta shells. Um, it needs a pinch more sugar. Other than that, it's very good. It just needs more sugar. All right, um, can you taste the soy curls? Like, you feel those? No, well, that's Okay, she says, let me try it. She didn't notice at first. All right, so y'all, I think we can do it. It's good when it's mixed in. And you know, also y'all, the, the more this sits, uh, the flavor, <laughs> yes, you can go, thank you. The, they, I think they went up to feed the cat. Uh, the flavor gets in there, it settles and all of that kind of stuff. But the good news is we got a good verdict from a kid. So look, if you're a vegetarian like Tati, go for it. Make this dish, okay? <laughs>
<laughs> Y'all, we are ready for our super clap sign off. That means the food was delicious enough for us to clap our way up out of here, but we can't just clap. We have to, y'all know clapping is my favorite thing, but. <laughs> we got a clap, uh, a clap rhythm for you from DJ Is. He really brings it. So y'all have a good day. Thank you for being here. Take care, everyone. And of course, get your fruits and vegetables in. Enjoy. Hey, hey. Thank you all. <laughs> we got dinner made for the day. It's a win with the kids. We can clap it up. Hey, coming out the bushes. Another Jamaican man. Thank you, Urban Garden Chronicles. See you later, talk to you. Take care. Y'all don't forget, David Hunt, he was our winner. 